This is a quick tutorial about how to use tab browsing and we're going to use Google News for our example. So let's say I was at the Google News page and I wanted to look at these top three articles. I right click on the title of the article and from this menu that pops up I choose to open link in a new tab. I'm going to do the same for the other articles that I'm interested in reading. Open all of them in one swell foop and there you go across the top. You can see that in one window I can more or less navigate through four or even more different websites. If I've lost interest in one of these articles I can just hit the little X that's associated with the tab which becomes highlighted when I hover over it and I can get rid of it. If I want to add a new tab here in Firefox hit the plus sign and then I can go to a website whichever one I want. Let's say it's Flickr and that's how it works in Firefox. If I wanted to do this, for example, not in Firefox, yep, I'm going to close all four of those tabs. Let's say I wanted to do this in Safari. It's pretty similar. The right click works as well. The other thing that you can do besides a right click is from your file menu, choose to open a new tab. You can see I'm on a Mac, and so you've got the command key and type the letter T. That will also open a new tab. Or on a PC, it's control T. And that also works to open a new tab. And that's how this works in Safari. If you were going to use Chrome, it's the same sort of thing, but there's another way to do it, aside from the two that I've just shown you, right-click, open new tab from the file menu, um, choose a new tab, uh, or there's this little plus sign here. If you hit that plus sign, it opens up a new tab, and you can go to any website that you like and see it. Uh, that's how that works in Chrome. It's pretty much the same in Explorer as well. Instead of a plus sign, it's a little square hanging off the end there. So in Firefox, you can add a new tab by, uh, or sorry, here I am in Chrome, in Safari, you can also do it, the plus sign is over there on the far right, and that also adds a new tab, so that's how you can get around using tab browsing.